Hey, good morning. <laughs> just got finished with a morning walk. And um, I just wanted to say I'm a successful professional, uh, entrepreneur, uh, dad, uh, good dad, <laughs> pretty good husband, uh, better dad. But uh, just kidding, honey, I love you. Um, so, and, and I still struggle with depression every single day. And I'm probably not supposed to say that because I'm a I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. I'm a coach for executive performance. I am, um, I am, I, I am responsible for guiding people through the the experience of depression. But maybe that's exactly why I'm the supposed person who's supposed to be saying it. And you know, <clears throat> there's so much stigma still. Um, I'm teaching this, uh, proactive mental health course for high school athletes in the local high school here, trying to break down these barriers, trying to break down these walls. I mean, things have come a long way. Like, right. When I was, when I was a college athlete, um, I could find it in my coach that I was depressed and I was stigmatized. I was shamed. I actually never played another game. There was other things going on, but that was definitely part of it. Um, I went from being like on the starting lineup as a freshman to never playing again, actually was benched completely. Um, and like I said, there was some other things going on to be fair, but that was definitely a huge part of it. Um, and so I just want to speak openly about this and, and there are so many things to balance. Let me, like I was thinking about it on my walk, like what are the things that I have to balance? The balance, the things that I have to balance are that it is a real thing and I'm not a victim of it. It is something that I have to work with every single day, and I'm not a victim of it. I It is not my fault, but it is my responsibility. It does present challenges in my life, but who doesn't have challenges in their life? It is something I have to live with and something that I can transcend and overcome. But here's another really important balance is for so long I've been even advocating professionally, like that we can get rid of it. And maybe that is true. I actually believe that is true, that we can make tremendous strides, tremendous progress. We can outgrow things. We can get to a point where it is no longer, we are no longer at effect of it. But we don't do it by wanting to get rid of it, by hating it. You know, when I wake up in the morning and that feeling washes over me of, anxiety and dread and and all these things when i hate it when i want to get rid of it when i'm pissed off that i feel this way again guess what it just gets more stuck it gets more entrenched it gets more powerful it gets more intense and i'm more likely to pull the covers up like i've done so many times in my life you know but when i go and i open to it and i allow it and i accept it and i acknowledge it once I'm doing all those things, I'm actually recognizing that I am not it. I am experiencing it. It is nothing other than thoughts, emotions, sensations. But I am not my thoughts. I am not my emotions. I am not my sensations. And we can practice cultivating an aspect of our being that can get up and go for a walk anyway. And so I just wanted to put that out there. There's lots of things to balance. I'm not saying, you know, one of the other things to balance is I have a life of privilege. I have a life of, I have a life of opportunity. You know, look where I live, you know? Yeah. Have I created some of that? Absolutely. Have I been gifted some of that as a position of privilege in my life? Absolutely. But even though other people have had it worse than me, other people have had it easier and that whole vanity game of conceit, of comparing, that also keeps us stuck. The fact of the matter is, is the balance of accepting where I'm at, who I am, what I come in with, is actually the ground on which I can pivot to making something better, making something brighter, making something lighter, making something more joyful turning this tendency of depression and anxiety that I've had since I was a little boy into a life of joy, meaning, contribution, service. And it doesn't mean that I don't have shitty days. I do. Who doesn't?
but together we thrive. We lift each other up. We pull each other together. We gather. We we eat together. We exercise together. We 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 share stories together. Not stories of entrenchment or victim stance or disempowerment, but stories of resilience, stories of coverage, stories of empathy, stories of understanding. And it, so it's neither it's neither falling victim to it, nor is it toxic positivity and gaslighting. It's right in the middle. It's right in the middle. Opening, allowing, welcoming, transforming sometimes, letting it be sometimes. It's a dance. It's a dance. And it actually becomes a gift of life. It actually becomes an opportunity. It actually becomes, we rise on the very ground over which we once stumbled. And I wouldn't want it any other way. All right, y'all. Hope you have a beautiful day. And uh, get out there. Get some sun in your eyes, some sun in your skin. And hug some people that you love. And do something nice for someone else. These are all things that we can do. Tricks of the trade. Hacks. We can hack our neurochemistry day in and day out. And we don't need to be stuck. Get it moving. Love you all. Have a beautiful day.